Hello guys! Hello! Welcome to my stream! This is the third week in a row that I'm doing a practice stream and I'm very happy we've made it this far. Today we're covering feet. Hello guys, can you hear me? <laughs> I have to ask this question every time, every live. Um, yeah, so guess what? Guess what? I'm not sure if you're feeling the difference, but I finally got myself a mic. And... Um, yeah, I hope you can feel the difference. Uh, I, uh, like in the weeks before I was just using my phone as a mic but this time I have a professional mic that I'll hopefully understand better with time because uh, there are so many settings to set and yeah I'm just using the very basic settings so how are you doing guys doing are you ready for another practice session um, <clears throat> yeah so uh, Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for joining the stream. So yes, today I'm gonna using photos from Line of Action website again, and uh, we're gonna cover the feet. I I have um, I have added a few photos here. I took a few photos um, that we're gonna try to redraw. But first, I'm gonna start with a very basic uh, feed. So I will do as I do every week. Um, <clears throat> I'll first show you how I draw the feet, like the basic shapes, and um, like basically the skeleton. And then later, we're, we're gonna draw the um, like the actual details of the feet. So yeah, without further talk, um, let's get started. So basically, uh, I chose this uh, pose because it's a basic one. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, when I draw the feet, is draw a sort of uh, a trapezoidal shape similar to the hands one, but um, sometimes it can be like kind of uh, a triangular shape. <laughs> with a right angle. This is not a math class, don't worry. So Yes, yeah, something like a trapezoidal shape. In, in this case, we can just uh, like this kind of became uh, a five sides shape, but no worries um, So uh, we add this shape basically feet are very simple and then we add um the outline like like the mitten part for the hands however just the outline for the uh, toes how are they like we add the curve how they're going um, in their length from the tallest uh, or the longest the thumb to the pinky finger the shortest so uh, that's what we're gonna do basically feet are have much less uh, like steps than hands so we're gonna try to replicate this feet over here. Um, we're gonna draw it from scratch here. And let's see how it turns out. So, starting with a trapezoidal kind of uh, shape, but with the five sides. So, a very basic shape. And. Um Oh guys, you got to leave now. It's fine. The stream will be up on my channel in case uh, uh you can't make it. So yes. This is the basic shape and then we add the outline or the sort of shape for the toes going from the longest to the shortest. So basically, the toes, how do we do the toes? First of all, just add a space, like we we're gonna divide these into the toes. So the first one is uh, the thumb, which has occupies like the biggest portion because it's the biggest toe. So that's where the thumb is gonna be. And then we can divide this remaining area into half and then 
half of this is gonna be the other toes so that's basically it we're almost done so let's go ahead and draw the, uh, the feet with all its details um, I usually start from this side which is the heel there is a kind of a bump in the heel uh, area and if you notice uh, the feet doesn't go in a straight line like this there is some kind of curvature so we're gonna draw that um, like there is a bump here and then it goes to the inside and then there is a bump again so that's the curvy shape of the feet um, so that's the bottom for the top part we just follow the, sh um, the lines we drew earlier so I'm just following those lines that's Everything is curvy, uh, avoid drawing straight lines. And now the thumb, uh, the toes starting with the thumb. Um, there is a little bump as well before the thumb, but this is like sort of optional. You can skip it depending on the pose, of course. Over here, like we can just skip it, or we can just add a very light kind of bump. And. Now drawing the thumb. That's the thumb. And then we we'll, we draw on the rest of the toes. So uh, the top of the toes is like is not a straight line. It has to be bumpy, some sort of not really round, but a little, little bit round. You see. So yes. Um. So that's what I'm doing here. The top of the toes is kind of a flat kind of round. And yeah. Just drawing over those guides. And there is some uh, I didn't I don't find this uh, division well. Okay, so I'm just gonna erase a little bit and redo it. So this is gonna be our newest division. Yeah, so there is a dramatic uh, change in uh, there is a dramatic change in the length between these two, so we're gonna have to adapt for it here. So. These here are almost on the same level, but uh, we're gonna have to decrease the, uh, like the length of the toes from here onwards. So we're gonna do that. I'm just trying to copy the photo that I'm seeing right now. Um, Finally, the small toe. We can adjust this a little bit since it looks tilted in uh, the actual photo. So the feet is almost done. All we have left is the nails. So I'm just gonna add them. Again, the nails. Um, the nails of the toes are like something like um, kind of curved upwards and round from the bottom. L let's just try to copy what we see in the photo. So yeah. I'm not so uh, I'm not so good with drawing the nails, but anyway, 
I'll just give it a try. Okay, so yeah. Um uh, it looks kind of awkward but later it will look <laughs> it will look okay. I'm just fixing this. So that's basically it. That's how I practice the feet in a slow way. Uh, I usually practice them more. Oh by the way, there is also this important part that it's better to include this kind of bone. So we're gonna add it here. And that's it. We are done with the first feet. It doesn't take much time. So what do you guys think? It's a, it is pretty easy to be honest. Feet are much easier than hands when it comes to drawing. So let's do a few more examples and let's see how you do it. Um, okay, so you guys are trying now. Feet, fingers, or toes are so complicated. Um, not really, actually, with the divisions, you'll see that they're much simpler than hand fingers. Because in hands, um, they have so much rotations and angles, but in feet, most of the time, they're simple. So let's try more examples and then see what you guys think. And this is, let's try something similar to. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead with this one. Um, gonna enlarge it a little bit. I really like drawing this pose of the feet because usually, like, if you're drawing a character in um, a sort of character sheet, a front view. Uh, kind of a character sheet. It's really important to get the feet right in that position. Most of the time they would be pointing front to the front so this would usually be the the pose of a character that's facing forward. So let's try to draw this. Everything needs to practice so don't worry let's practice together and let's see how it goes. Um, just keep trying, give it a try. It's okay if you don't get it right uh, from the first time. It's okay. With trying, you will get better. So let's try this one. Um, again, we start with a sort of trapezoid uh, shape. But we're gonna add this bump here for the heel. We're gonna worry about the other bones later. But that's for the basic shape. And then we're gonna add this place for a sort of shape for the toes. That's the like that's the basics. It looks pretty much like a, a sock, like one of it is wearing a sock. Uh, that's how it looks like. Uh, in, a, in its simplest format. So yeah, let's go ahead and draw the... Okay, let me add the leg as well. It's part of the leg. We're gonna add details to this. So yes. I usually in this pose like to start with the heel, it's very interesting to draw. So this would be how it looks. And we're drawing the curves now. How are you finding it guys? Is it easy to follow? Should I slow down or is the pace good? All right, I forgot to divide the. <laughs> I forgot to do add the divisions for the toes. So yeah, starting with the thumb, that's the biggest. 
uh, top and then we divide this in this middle I like that we divide this uh, in halves and then we divide each one of them in halves as well so yeah we're good to go now so yes you see um, there is a bump here like the tool is not just coming like this there is this sort of bump adding all those curves will make the feet look really interesting so yeah this is the thumb the other two the next i don't know their names so i'm just gonna say <laughs> the second third and so on the third two the fourth the fifth the, the smallest um, toe is kind of many times it's like facing downwards unlike the others um, so yeah there is a bump here so we're gonna add that as well but I think I drew it too much I don't like this series <laughs> I just downloaded this set of and I don't really like this one. Okay. So yes, back to this. The tool. A little bump. we continue the, uh, the rest of the feet but we have over here we have this bone from this side these bones are very interesting to add as well they add so much depth to the feet and that's the leg now this is almost done except that we need to add the nails Okay guys, how are you going with the feet so far? Do you want to chat and while well, I'll do the practicing and you follow along or do you want me to do more explanations? done with two so far even though I took my time it's only 18 or 19 minutes since I started so yeah feet are pretty easy and quick to practice if you can notice let's do this side of you now This, for the side of you, um, we're gonna do this uh, trapezoidal sort of shape again, except that there is some sort of uh, uh, bend going here. <laughs> so if we draw this in basic shapes, it's it's very easy to apply. So yeah, that's how it goes. Just very basic shapes and this is where the toes go 
so as you can see this is the basic shape for crest okay so um i think i'm gonna chat with you guys um this is like uh, what I'm doing is pretty basic if you have any questions uh, feel free to stop me and I'll answer but for now I'll read the chat and talk to you so yes procrastination delight is saying I love that this chat is so lively but it's not one message in less than a second yeah yeah those like those kinds of chats are crazy uh, I wonder like how the streamer is able to respond to the messages or maybe they don't they just don't um, have you written your own comic not yet I did give writing a try uh, years ago but um, I kind of left it I wasn't really good at writing I don't think I'm good at try any better at writing now, but I think I might give it a try one day. Feet are pretty easy, I cry. Come on, just give it a try. If you haven't tried it yet, you won't really know what I'm talking about. But they're literally, they're much less challenging than hands at least. And even like, most, much, much less challenging than um, poses themselves, so yeah, give them a try. Um, okay, there is some Vara, thank you. There is some Vara, he's saying that, um, very fluent in English like uh, I'm as fluent as a bulbul you know a bulbul is like a, the I'm, I guess you know that name because that's the name in English as well it's a kind of a bird that tweets <laughs> so it has a very lovely sound of singing I had two lovely bulbuls that I no longer have anymore because they're at my family's house now. Anyway, Hannah Eaton is asking, "Hey, do you still use your XP Pen 13? Looking at getting one, but also see the 15 inch. So many to choose from. You're very talented. Thank you so much, Hannah. Um, no, to be honest, I'm not using it. I'm still using my screenless Wacom tablet because I'm used to it. I tried to use the XP Pen 13, but I'm so used to using my keyboard and a screenless tablet, plus I recently got a good screen so I think that, like I thought there was no need to use the, that tablet but uh, like I think if you can try those tablets it would be good for you to make a choice the 13.31 inch like was, was a good uh, size tablet but I'm used to big screens so um, it was kind of uncomfortable for me to downscale my screen size, but it's really good. So go for the size that you like, just try to... to um, try to check the size and see if you would be happy drawing on such a screen size. Lubius, since you're reading Who Made Me a Princess, I suggest reading Death is the only ending for a villainous lovely art. Um, let me let me write that down. Um, actually in another tab, Death in what? Death is the only ending. Hmm. Wow. Amazing art. Wow. <laughs> this is such an eye candy. Uh, the thing is, uh, I'm reading uh, um, Who Made Me a Princess in Japanese. I got that like one volume and I still haven't progressed much because I want to read it in Japanese. At least the, the volume that I have. And I haven't been having time lately. <laughs> but I really want to know what happens next. 
So thank you so much for the suggestion. I really love the art. Um, yeah. Um, let me check what else. Someone said, "Who's your favorite character in Pandora art?" Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't get me started. <laughs> I love like almost all of the characters of Pandora art, but my most favorite ones, I would say, are hmm, Ozu for sure. Uh, White Alice, if you know what I mean, and I like Jack. Despite everything, I like Jack and Elliot. And oh my god, um, I also like Loki. Break. I've been really interested in Break lately. Anyway, people who don't know Pandora Hearts won't have an idea what I'm talking about. So Silent Studios is asking, I have a question, what app do you use? It looks pretty easy. No app is actually easy, it depends on how you use it. But anyway, I'm using Clip Studio Paint and it's written in my description box. Um, okay. Mm. The, ar the artist of that manhwa is, has a twitter, so and let me check that as well. I love seeing eye candy <laughs> uh, art styles. I'm gonna check those later. Thank you, Maichiko. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Are you guys practicing with me? Or am I the only one practicing? Because if you're not practicing, maybe I might just do chatting sessions on the following streams when I while well, I practice and you guys like we chat together. Blossom Awesome is asking, who is your favorite character you have drawn so far? Um, hmm. Like you mean my characters or any character? Um. I don't really know, but I really love Pandora Hearts characters, and I really enjoy drawing them. And what else? I sometimes... Oh, I like Vocaloid characters as well. Drawing them is really interesting. I'm not practicing, I'll practice later. Sure. I'm drawing. <laughs> they look right now, but I'll probably give him a hit. No damage saying. I don't know who they look is, but. Um, good luck with what you're drawing. And is art candy art style a thing I haven't heard about? Um, well, that's my way of saying something it looks like an eye candy to me uh, Because for me personally, not every art style inspires me to draw But those art styles like a sort of, you know, uh, a burst of uh, inspiration to me So I really love seeing them, so they're like super eye candy I, I just call them the eye candy art styles Maybe that's my own <laughs> That's my own uh, um, definition. Um, Who is your favorite Vocaloid character? Mm, in terms of songs, Miku is my favorite. I really like her songs. In terms of uh, character design, also Miku, she has a lot of interesting uh, character designs. But I also like um, Luca and uh, the twins, of course. I I haven't drawn them for so long. I used to draw them a lot. And who else? I like uh, Gumi, sort of. And hmm, in terms of look, I those are my favorite. I re just really like the multiple Miku character designs and the songs and everything 
Oh my god, and of course like Kagero project, I'm a big fan, though I haven't finished the full thing. I haven't caught up with it yet, but it's really interesting. Mm. Okay, next pose. Let's see. Let's do this one first. Um, guys, are you facing problems with the uh, like? Is the stream buffering or? Because I'm getting a message that there is a problem with my upload. Oh, hello, I rented cookie. I I noticed you were missing from the stream. Um, let me know if there is a problem with the stream. I can try to maybe restart it. And yeah, but someone is asking, have you ever watched Sailor Moon? Um, no, because I only like watched one episode and that was like two years ago and I'm all like I was already too grown up uh, for it. So it didn't really catch me my attention. I feel it's a sort of childish. It's meant like the audience is meant for little girls. So I'm definitely not the audience. It's too late for me now to be on the fandom. Um, hmm. The quality is high, so no, no, no. There's the stream is hundred percent okay. So okay, so it's just YouTube playing tricks on me. <laughs> I really hate when the stream goes bad and starts buffering because it really ruins your experience as viewers. Okay, so um, my chico I think asked earlier if I've watched the fruits basket and I would have to say yes. Fruits basket was, was one of the very first animes I watched like um, um, not really on TV, I watched on a DVD that I borrowed from a friend and it really has a special place in my heart. And of course I re like I watched the remake and it's amazing and I can't wait for the last season. Um, Gadir is asking, did you read the man manhua who made me a princess? Yes, we were just talking about it. I am in the process of reading it, so please avoid <laughs> mentioning spoilers. I'm reading it at a very slow pace because I'm reading it in Japanese as a way to practice my Japanese skills. But yeah, I really want to know what happens. Um, Okay, I'm not really catching up with the chat, so I'll just check what is there. Um, and you can repost your questions uh, in case I don't answer you. What application do you use to record your to record your speed pace? Is it a free? Yes, it is a free. I'm using OBS. The name of that software is written always on my videos, so do check it out. It's a free open source software. It's really good. I've been using it for four years now like yeah. most of my youtube videos are recording with obvious and as you can see the quality is high i'm even using for the streaming um are you still in japan just wondering if you like it there yes i am still there i'm not um, like a tourist um, i moved here so um yes i'm living here and thankfully i am enjoying it even though like i've been running around like crazy with the language school and my online work and everything but i'm managing i tell this to everyone i speak to so have you watched the promised neverland of course i did like such a gem cannot be missed so Okay.
Did you watch Gosek? It's so beautiful anime. No, I didn't. Look at this pose, it's crazy. But it's very interesting to draw. There's some sort of perspective. Do you want me to explain how I'm drawing this or should I just go ahead? Because no one is drawing right now there, you guys are just chatting. Um, Blossom Awesome is saying, your art is incredible, Pluvius. I love the way you draw and your art style is super adorable and awesome. Thank you for making wonderful art for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm really happy that you enjoy the art that I enjoy doing. And thank you so much. <laughs> Pluvius, uh, Maichiko is saying, Pluvius, Janet is so cute. Can't wait till you see the chapter that shows her i think i've seen janet already because i've reached chapter five or something but you know like my favorite is the main character so far i really love her eyes <laughs> uh atanasia her name in japanese at least um Luvius, how old are you andy kaferdi is asking uh i'm 27 now Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. The previous foot was lacking a little bit of curves, just saying. It's okay. I'm not being too harsh on myself because I'm just practicing for fun and to enjoy. I like to slowly get better with that. Um, okay, so... Hello Various, I missed your comments, I'm not sure if you chatted earlier, but thank you for coming this week as well. Various is saying, I tried to practice but now I'm continuing my draw this in your style. I like to listen to your voice while I'm drawing. Thank you so much. It's, it's kind of... I don't know. <laughs> it's like I'm a kind of uh, a background thing to be listened to. That makes me happy. I'm glad you enjoy listening to me. Even though I haven't been saying much this time. To be honest, I'm kind of sleepy. I've been awake for almost 21 hours. <laughs> Maichiko is saying that the main character from uh, Who Made Me a Princess webtoon or manhua uh, Like the artist has a tutorial on how to draw her eyes. Wow, I'm really interested um, And it has subtitles on it. Oh, she has a channel. So let me check that. Oh my Maichiko, you know so many things <laughs> so many interesting things so, oh, okay, so spoon. I subbed instantly. <laughs> Thank you for recommending. Hmm. Luvius, have you watched Naruto? If you did, who's your fan? Mm, Naruto, I like watched it like 15 years ago or something. I only watched 90 something episodes of it and then I stopped because he didn't have good internet back then. <laughs> But anyway, I'm, I'm not a big Naruto fan, to be honest. I tried to get back into it a few years ago, but it didn't work out. Mm. Fresh is saying she's 27, she sounds so young. I've been told this before, actually, you're not the first one to say. <laughs> I think it, that's a good thing. Um, I'm okay with that. You only see success, but you don't see the artist's failure. The best artist has had to go through the failure before. Yes, you're absolutely right. You guys <laughs> have no idea. Like, uh, you only see the good side of 
whether it's me or other artists, but we go through so much trouble to reach where we are to be, like in the current moment. And of course, like it's an ongoing kind of struggle. Rarity is saying, why making Plovius shy and act cute is so satisfying? <laughs> I don't know how to reply to that. Damn, RIP Pluvius, she needs her sleep. Yes, I need my sleep. So I don't think I would stay beyond an hour. And I told myself like this week was a long one and a hectic one. I was like tomorrow I'm not doing anything, I'm just chilling. No work, no studying whatsoever. I just wanna chill. But maybe I'll still check YouTube comments because I can't help checking them every day and replying as much as I can. Um, looking at you draw actually help me figuring out how to draw. Awesome, that's great. Drawing feet is more easier than I thought, maybe because I have practiced before or maybe because drawing feet is really easy. To be honest, it really is easy. It's like, it's super easy to comprehend and break into simple parts. Oh yeah, so this kind of challenging pose is done. She sounds so much like my math teacher though. What? <laughs> wow. Um, but by the way, um, you might hate me, <laughs> but I, I, I'm a math fan. I like math. I really liked it in school. Well, I did engineering, so like uh, math was a big part of my studies as well as physics. But I really like math. Just saying. Okay, I need to hydrate one moment. Okay. Let me grab another pose before... Mm, let's see. Mm, okay, this... This is interesting to draw. I know it's gonna look kind of weird when I draw it, but it's fine, I wanna give it a try. And maybe you want to as well. So yeah, let's give this a try. Mm. Aida Ahmed is saying, Hi Pluvius, I love your channel. Way to go. Thank you so much. Wish me luck on this channel thing. <laughs> um, my favorite teacher is my favorite teacher because her, her voice sounds like Pluvius. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks. Severia is saying, me waiting an Arabic stream. <sighs> Bruh, I streamed in, on my Arabic channel two hours ago or something. But there are barely any viewers, so like, uh, don't expect me to speak in Arabic on this channel. It's my main channel and my audience is from all over the world. So please, if you want to hear me speak in Arabic, please go to my other channel. Like, I'm very sorry, but sometimes some comments drive me kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. What, what can I do so people can know more and read more? Like, it's, it's hectic trying to make everyone <laughs> know of, you know, like, I get so many repeat questions. Anyway, no complaining. Back to the chat.
What about male feet? Well, um, the references I'm using are from both male and female. So I think most of the ones I've drawn so far are actually male feet. And to be honest, there isn't much difference that you can't really tell. Unless you want to make it like make make them extremely um, uh, specialized kind of feet, like super tiny, <laughs> slim, slender for female, and you know the pro uh, usual shapes and like bumpy for a male. Just look for those kinds of references if you are. And just. My channel's name, my Arabic channel's name is Pluvis. Uh, uh, like I changed the name. It's written as Pluvius in Arabic and English. You can see the link for the channel on my channel. But yeah, that sounds redundant, but it is there if you if you're browsing through your computer. And if not, you can just see my video. I submitted a video recently. Um, not recently, a few months ago when I launched the channel, it's, it talks like it's, the name was like my side Arabic channel, so you can find the link for the channel there. Some streams but questions that are repeated in the description. Um, like I'm literally just <laughs> I I keep saying this every week, but I can't wait for my frequently asked vi uh, questions video to be ready, so that I can just easily and peacefully direct people to it. Mm. I'll grab another pose. Mm, let's see. I want to try something different from the ones I've drawn so far. The thing is, like, um, we don't have many poses. Uh, they're limited, so... Um, okay, I think we haven't tried this angle. Let me grab this um, photo. And I'll get back to the chat in a moment. And guys, maybe maybe this will be my last um, um, my last photo for this stream. I because I better go sleep soon. <laughs> duck feet. Oh, I love ducks. I mean, <laughs> okay, let's do this quickly. I love ducks, so here is a quacky duck with realistic sort of, no not really realistic, this is how I draw duck feet, <laughs> I, I rarely draw animals like uh, in a realistic kind of look, so here you go. How do you like that? Okay, at least I tried. I love ducks, so I'm just gonna keep this guy here. And while I do the last pose. How do you picture the base when you draw feet? I explained. Uh, the methodology I follow when practicing feet, starting with the trapezoid shape and all. You can watch, like, replay the stream after it's done uh, to see the part if you have missed that because it was in the very beginning of the stream. Um, okay. About two channels, is it hard to make a video with different viewers? Yes, to be honest, it's super hard and I'm not sure how long I can maintain that. But I'm trying at least for now and we'll see how it goes. But of course, like my main focus is this channel because it's 
my main and it will always be my main procrastination delight is saying i have a fear of drawing of ducks no oh my god oh my god we can't be friends i'm a duck lover i'm a bird lover i'm a bird lover um i love feathery creatures you just can't imagine i love them so much Looks like a potato duck. duck. It is. <laughs> That's the kind of ducks I draw. I love potatoes and ducks. Oh, so, potato ducks. Oh, don't stress yourself, Maichiko is saying. Thank you so much, Maichiko, for your concern. Um, uh, I'm still organizing my life. And I'm still like in the process of defining my priorities. So once those are set, I will know what to keep and what to describe because I, I don't want to live uh, a life full of stress. But at the same time, I want to I want people to understand uh, what I go through to to maintain this. So. Um, the thing is, my other channel is not as active as this one, like I upload there once a month or so, whenever I have content that I translate to Arabic for now. But I might try making content that's specific to that channel. We will see about that. Blossom Awesome, will you make an, will you make an anime music video? If you would, then I would suggest you make... Anyway, I'm not gonna continue reading that. Because this channel is not really for music videos, but the funny thing is that <laughs> this channel actually started as a music video channel. Like in 2008, I created, uh, or in 2009, I guess, I first created this channel. So that's what the date you will see on my about page. Because uh, I was making music videos of Pandora Hearts and uploading them to YouTube. But of course, I deleted those videos long ago. So yeah, this channel funnily started as a music video channel. <laughs> Mikulia drawings. Um, quote marks. I'm a bird lover. I'm a bird lover. Quote marks. Isn't that what they call? They're called Fluvius 2020. Thank you so much for the quote. <laughs> Potato duck. Did uh, can I make a fan art of you? Yes, you can draw potato duck. Feel free. Potato duck will be very happy if you draw fan art of potato duck. I'm a cat lover. Kitty. Will this be our last stream or will there be more? There will be more, but I think I'm taking a break from those practice sessions for now. Uh, we will see if I'll get back to them. I'm thinking of doing live tutorials i don't know we'll see how it goes um, depending on how the activity and people's engagement with the live streams we will see how it goes um no you can still hear the keyboard cool um okay so <laughs> you guys are shocked about the AMV part. Yeah, it's it's weird. In 2010, I uploaded my first speed paint, but I deleted that as well. Uh, it was very miserable. Well, but I think you can see that in one of my videos when I reached a 100,000 subscriber, I made a video and I showed the history of the channel. Potato Duck is a part of the practice with the Pluvius. Yes, Potato Duck is watching you and it's noticing that you guys are not practicing so... It's gonna... It's watching you. This is the spectrum of Potato Duck's eyes. Anyway. By the way, I used to draw this... Uh, duckling let me show you an artwork of this or oh, it was a part of my artwork mm. 
uh, over here. So, can you see over here? Yeah, I'm using my mouse. Ducklings. Anyway, I'm closing this feet thing because um, I'm done practicing for today. So, yes. No, potato duck is not replacing Serena. Um. Let me see if there is another potato in my artworks. I remember drawing more of that, but I can't remember when. Oh, okay, we can see a duck here as well. Yeah, we can see it here as well. This is my artwork from 2017 as well. Hmm. And I think, I think that's all I have, uh, or all, all I can remember. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop practice for now. Let me count. I did eight uh, feet, and I did eight feet in this stream. And they look nice as a result. So yeah. Yes, Serena and Potato Duck can be together in a drawing. Uh, Potato Duck can be this, like you know, sort of accompanying character <laughs> to those magical girls. Anyway, um, Izzel is asking, have you ever heard of the Witch's House? I know it's pretty not famous now until it becomes a trend someday, but it's a good game at the same time. Um, let me google that. The witch's house. Oh wow, that's an anime style pixel. Oh, it's a horror game. I, oh my god, I think I tried playing this one a little bit, but it creeped me. And yeah, I left it. I'm no longer in the mood for horror games. Um, yeah, but I don't think it's gonna be a big hit anytime. Um, because it's an old game, 2012. Mm, mm, it's not very known. So guys, yeah, Anang Rabo saying, did duck feet count? Uh, oh, okay, if we count duck, duck feet, then that's 10 feet. <laughs> that's 10 feet. Yep, yep, they do count for sure. Um, okay guys, so I re I'd really love to chat with you, but I think I'm gonna keep that for next week. Uh, or let's keep this week's stream just about feet and I look forward to see you next week in the same time. Um, if everything goes well, I have a little surprise for you next week, so stay tuned. You're gonna know more about it throughout the week. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching the stream, especially to the people who come to my stream every week. As, at least the ones I remember now are my Chico Rented Cookie and Varies. Thank you so much guys for coming every week to my stream. I, I, I kind of like <laughs> get used to see you guys here. Thank you so much. And I look forward to be able to remember more of you guys. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you Rented Cookie for the heart spam, <laughs> it has been received. <laughs> Bye guys, have a great day or great evening and I'm gonna go have my sleep, so good night from me.